Hi everyone. So I am back with another cruelty free haul. Some of these things are paraben free. Um, anyways, I've been doing a lot more drugstore shopping lately just because I find that the drugstores are putting in better cosmetics. I find that I don't enjoy paying as high a price anymore. <laughs> just this past year, I had taken, I guess, kind of like a cutback in my pay when I switched job locations and I had to start from the bottom again. I'm kind of back to having my seniority and my hours again so I've been able to do some more hauls for you guys at this point so that's kind of why I've been able to have more products, more new products in my videos once again. So for a while there you saw pretty much all the same palettes and I'm sure um, sure it was boring so anyways uh, this is reality though this is a vlog and that's how it goes. So um, starting off at the drugstore I wanted to get some new hair care items. I I've been getting asked a lot more lately to please do my hair care routine for you guys which I haven't always been interested in doing in the past because my hair is short I know not everyone has my hair um, or even my hair texture so I think it's a little I don't know funky for me to post a video tutorial but that's just my opinion anyways um, I have coarse hair so it does take a little bit um, to relax my hair which is another reason why I like to wear it shorter just because when it's um, really really long you can kind of just see how heavy and coarse it is and I just feel very weighed down by really heavy coarse hair um, it's a little bit longer now I'm attempting to grow it out and kind of see how that is just for a change of pace um, I added some new kind of like red violet highlights you can kind of see those so it's a deeper color in case you're wondering I've been getting some questions the highlights placement is pretty much all forward in the front they're still light bits like caramel bits but um, those aren't growing out those are newly added caramel bits and then red violet undertones I guess low lights as well anyways um, I'm not into purchasing drugstore hair care products unless I know that they're good. There are a lot of hair care products though that are professional grade that are tested on animals and aren't any good. So I was willing to give these a shot and this is the Nuance Salma Hayek Meadow Foam Seed Leave-In Treatment with Color Lock Technology and Natural Fruit Extracts. And this is basically supposed to condition, strengthen, severely dry over processed hair. And it's sulfate free, paraben free, not tested on animals. So what you do with this is just towel dry your hair. You don't rinse it out. This is going to ease coarse or dry hair split ends. Do not rinse and then just style your hair. So I thought that that would be really cool. I used to purchase the Aveda. It was like a glossing gel that was supposed to sort of minimize coarse appearance to your hair. I used to purchase that and then I found out Aveda tested some time ago. So I've just been waiting to empty out all my Aveda tubes before doing a hair care video or before buying any new stuff. The next item I got is the Nuance Summer High Blue Agave Curl Cream with Curl Lock Technology. And one of the reasons why my hair is so coarse um, or coarser looking than some people's straight hair on YouTube is because I don't have naturally straight hair. If you've been following my tutorials for a long time, you know that my hair uh, texture is naturally curly. Um, I was born with straight hair. I had straight hair, I think, the whole time when I was a kid. But when you get older, your hair texture changes, and that's just the way it is. So now it's curly. So I got the Blue Agave Curl Cream with Color Lock Technology and Meadow Sea Foam Extract. And this is supposed to tame and define your curls. Um, once again, sulfate free, paraben free, not tested on animals. So what you do, what's really cool about this, these two products is that this is basically a frizz control and this is a curl enhancer. So straight hair, curly hair. And this is a UV protector against sun damage, heat styling. Um, so if you're somebody who has straight hair and wants to curl your hair, this could be a great curl and enhancer for you and help protect against the heat of your iron. When I wear my hair curly, I don't do anything. That is its natural state. I've also gotten requests to please do a curling iron video and I'm sorry those are my natural curls. Um, perhaps I can get a model and do a curling video on her um, instead because it just, there's no way I can recreate uh, my natural curls and have them look exactly the same as a natural curl. But if, um, if you want more natural curls, my advice is to get about an inch um, inch in width curling iron and to try your best to not make all the curls uniform in size and shape because natural curls aren't. Repurchases. I recently got these Yesta blueberries and I'm almost out. Um, I love these. These towels are 40 more towels, or sorry, 10 more towels in the average packet 
from the Yes To line. They're so moist and they remove your makeup so fast that it's taking me a while to get through a pack. I go through the Yes To Cucumber ones faster and the packs are almost the same size minus 10 towelettes. Um, I recently had to get a double pack of this again because they were out of my favorite Yes To Blueberries. I see that there is a brand on the shelf nowadays that's owned by Burt's Bees and Burt's Bees is owned by Clorox, which Clorox tests on animals. So I'm hoping that um, that this Yes 2 line will stay in and not the new one. I think it's called Good. Yeah. Milani has so many amazing stuff um, lately for 2012. I'm so glad they're revamping their line. Um, anyways, it's a cruelty-free drugstore brand. And I recently picked up the Milani Runway Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. This is their Fashion Shadows. Um, Diva Makeup Queen recently did a video on um, about three to four of these palettes. Um, I wanted to get the primary one because it just looked the most pigmented. If I like it, I might get the contemporary one or one of the paint wheels. The paint wheels are so cool though because they're named after like contemporary artists um, or impressionist artists. For those of you who don't know um, art like that, um, uh, impressionist artist is someone who paints like a realistic scene but uses inspiration, kind of like Van Gogh's Starry Night. So I really like their new line. I think they're doing an interesting bang up job. I love it. And I wanted to try something. This is the primary palette. Um, from their old Minelani baked blush line, I picked up Luminoso, which is uh, number five. And yes, it's a dupe of NARS Orgasm or Super Orgasm. It doesn't look shimmery enough to be Super Orgasm. But anyways, I haven't been using the Orgasm Blush just because it tests on animals. I just don't really have that much of an... Um, I don't want to use it on my blog just because it kind of markets it. I know. And I don't really enjoy even putting on my face. <laughs> so these big blushes are so good that I just decided to pick one up because I love this color. One last item from, Milan, from Milani, and we'll switch over, is uh, number 7, Fantastico Mauve. This one was the prettiest one. They're not all made alike, so get the baked one that you like. Uh, unless you're ordering online, then uh, you kind of end up with the whole MAC uh, deal where you get whatever you get. So, what I like about buying these is they do look like the MAC ones. They work like the MAC ones. They're beautiful. They're pigmented, if not even more. But um, since it's sold on the drugstore shelf, you can grab what you want. And that's fantastic, Omav. So beautiful. The Wet n Wild Makeup Shields are my favorite lipstick um, for spring 2012. Um, from the drugstore. And this one is Wet n Wild's Mega Shield in A Current Affair. Had yet to get this baby. I didn't find or see the fall colors and I'm definitely into fall colors more than any other palette. Um, this next one is That's Very Beautiful. And um, Arrest Me Copper. I'll put the numbers in the bottom bar and I'll probably try to... I want to do a blog post once I obtain all of these. I don't think I have all of them yet. Um, make me blush. Not necessarily a color I could always see myself wearing, but I thought I could get use out of that since I do a lot of recreate celebrity looks every other week or once a week. Uh, next color is Pink Slip. I know Emily Noel 83 raved about this one. Um, it's just a mauve color, which is not my favorite on me, but I know that I'm going to get some use out of this with, with uh, crazy eyes and then a neutral lip. Uh, within these adobe walls, which I actually really like, this is a peachy pink. And I also picked up the new Physicians Formula 3-in-1 Roller Light Stick Yellow Cream. Um, this is light yellow, and it's for youthful wear. Uh, it's a youthful wear youth boosting concealer. And I'm about to be out of my Milani HD concealer, which I thought was absolutely fabulous. But I like to try new things, so I definitely want to give this one a try. Um, this is hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, dermatologist-approved, non-comedogenic, clinically tested, gives you 12-hour wear. So I really wanted to give that a try just because I like to try new things. If I hate it, then I'll just probably go back to Milani HD for some time. I also picked up the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Shadow and Liner, and this is in Fashionista Eyes. It's so cool. I really wanted to get this contrasting color palette. I thought it would be beautiful. It's good for hazel or brown eyes, which I have. Um, also great for greens. Blues would look beautiful in it as well. Everybody. I think anyone can really rock purples. Is, uh, also any skin tone can rock purples. I think the hardest color to rock is this yellow, which is pr probably in there for an aesthetic appeal. So I really wanted to try this particular palette. 
I thought it looked fun. Those of you who've been following my blog for a while may have seen me kind of casually mention I have a design degree and an art background, so just really wanted to try that. I feel like this haul's all over the place. I just realized I have one more Milani nail lacquer, and this is Orchidia. I saw this on Vintage or Tacky in one of her newest videos, and I also saw it in the stores before that, and then once I saw it on her in her Rapunzel video, I was like, oh, that's it. It's beautiful. So I'm going to try that. I haven't tried it yet. Um, also picked up two Jordana lipsticks. I used to really like these. I tried these a while back. And this is in Cherry Pie. And this color is in Desert Wine. It's totally beautiful. Totally beautiful. Also, I thought I picked up all the Wet n Wild Mega Last uh, nail lacquers. If you've been following um, my Facebook, if you're on my Facebook, you see my swatches. If you read the bottom bars, you know what colors I'm wearing on uh, my nails, or you've guessed, I don't know. Uh, anyways, 210C, this one is Tropicana. Tropicalia, I'm sorry, Tropical, Tropicalia? Yeah, that's a weird word. Um, I also picked up Club Havana. And I didn't know that there was more until I saw Emily Noel at E3 talk about these. Under Your Spell. Bite the Bullet. These are $1.99 each and it was buy two get one free. So I got a lot of deals on all this, all these things. Like there was a lot of deals. Um, $1.99, buy two get one free. I'm not that insane. Oh, and buy one get one 50% off of Nuance. So... And 215B Haze of Love. So, I generally only like to buy drugstore cosmetics when there's a huge deal. And there usually is a huge deal within a week of another week or whatever. So I usually wait for those moments. And 204B Private Viewing. <laughs> I didn't realize the name of this thing until just now. That's dirty. Dirty, sorry. Anyways. Um, so yeah. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Hope give you guys some what's to come on my channel. I know a lot of people love haul videos and they want to see what gurus are liking using just because um, better we spend our money than have you go out and try to figure it out or waste your own money, right? That's, that's ultimately why a lot of people like beauty gurus because um, kind of want to fall back on that and see how things look and work. So hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.